Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and no, this is not another rant on Sky. No matter what you think about Sky as a company and the products that Sky creates and puts on the market, you have to admit if you at least slightly uh, know the situation currently, you have to admit that Sky manage, or the Free Sky, how some people spell it, they manage to fuck up their ecosystem pretty badly. It might not be yet, yet, this is very important, visible on the 2.4 gigahertz family of receivers and transmitter and transmitters and the radios, but it's very, very, very visible when we are dealing with the R9 system. So far, in two years, they created four different firmware versions for the same hardware and those different firmware versions developed almost independently. They are not compatible with each other. There is something called the ACCST, which is not really ACCST, but they are only naming it like that, uh, which comes in the FCC and the EU, listen before, talk version, incompatible between each other, one uses 915 megahertz, second one 168. Then there is something called Flex, which combines both, both abilities to uh, have one firmware to talk on both bandwidths, which is not, let's say, 100% legal. Now, Sky is pushing something called access, which is not really the same access like the access on 2.4 gigahertz uh, receivers and transmitter. And also inside of the access, there is also something called flex. So in total, five different firmware versions for one poor R9 system. The question is how to live with that how to manage all those versions, all those firmwares, uh, because each and single one of them is not compatible with each other. When you got yourself new receiver for FRSky R9, you really have no idea which kind of firmware will come on it. If you buy a new transmitter because the old one um, died, because hardware dies from time to time, how to live with, with it, how to put this into your own uh, fleet without suffering too much, without all the um, compatibility, not compatibility problem, depending on where, for example, you got the hardware from. The solution, I will give you the solution. And the solution for the R9M and or R9 receivers is pretty, pretty simple and kind of obvious. Just pick one firmware and stick to it. And my advice is keep yourself away from the access version because the access version is not compatible with all the radios. For example, you cannot use R9 access on the X9D you got to yourself last year or X10 or X12 or QX7 or any, anything like that. No, this is why. we move away from the access version on the R9 because honestly you do not get that much. In theory you can get uh, over the air update of the receivers but only if the receiver is a special version compatible and if you already already do not have everything in that family it makes no sense. The, the radio has to be the brand new radio from Sky. so it really makes no sense. So really my advice keep yourself away from everything that's access when we are dealing with Sky R9. It just doesn't make sense yet. Then you have three versions. You have either the FCC version, the EU version or the Flex version. And my advice, forget about the first two. They, they should not really exist for you. What you are interested in is only Flex from the beginning of 2019. The version is, I think, 2019-020. And they, they released uh, the, the firmwares for different receivers and transmitter in a like two weeks uh, period. So the dates might be misleading. You are interested in the firmware 
from the January or February of 2019. The firmware really works. Works great with all the hardware, all the transmitter and all the receivers. Almost all the receivers that Eversky currently um, sells. So it works with Slim, Slim Plus, Mini, uh, MM and probably also with the R9 OTA R9MM OTA, but also in case of the, the receivers, keep yourself away from the OTA version. It's really that doesn't make sense. Be on the safe side. So what you have to do? Just flash everything with the same flex. Should you use flex? Yes, you should use flex. It just works. So flash R9M, it flex. Non-access flex, but regular flex. So my, really, like the naming is is a nightmare over there. Will also work with R9 M 2019, and you will be able to flash even receivers originally purchased with the different versions with the flex from the beginning of 2019. So just you got yourself new R9 receiver, connect into the flash to the smart port and flash it just like that do not even look what's installed on there originally and you will be fine the only tiny tiny problem is that for the OpenTX radios to have flex support you have to flash them with the option flex enabled and that's all so OpenTX 223 with flex flash it OpenTX 23 2.3 2.0 with the flex checked Flash it works on every radio with every R9 transmitter and every R9 receiver. Do not even think about updating to access. Makes absolutely no sense. And the flex, yes, works great. No need to update to anything else for really unspecified period of time. Flex for the win. That's all for today. It was not a rant. I just gave you a great consumer advice for free, especially, especially for you. Not a rant. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye bye.